Okay, guys, okay. Uh, this is week eight, kind of what we call the sessions over here. So uh, I want to what we call a recap back again, right? Okay? One of the reasons I give you guys this method of working there, right? Okay? Draw on top of the layers, there, okay? With the reference itself, because I would say not everyone can draw well. I know that, right? Okay, you guys, you guys agree with me, there, okay? Not everyone can draw well, there, guys. Okay, so I actually have been developed this kind of methods of learning experience with with my students. Okay, other than I actually have taught you guys also how to draw without any kind of what we call that drawing on top of the lace or tracing there, right? There, some people call tracing, but it's not the tracing there. Okay, tracing is different there, okay? I have to recall you guys back again. Okay. Tracings is all about, okay, when you trace your drawings there, okay, it's just like you're tracing the outline there, okay? This is what we call tracing there. Okay, let me share with you guys. Tracing there, okay, this is tracing. Some people draw like this, huh, right? Uh, this one is tracing there. Okay, they don't actually apply uh, basically the drawings method there. This is not drawing here, okay? Some people draw like this, guys. I can see a lot there, okay? And they don't even actually know where to go there, okay, from here. Uh, this is what we call tracing is all about, okay? I can actually okay, felt that kind of tracing way there, okay, of working. Okay? You saw basically some hesitation a lot and their drawings there at the same time when they draw them. Okay? When you talk about drawing itself there, okay, draw there, okay, because I actually developed this kind of methods, okay, for the students. One of the reasons is why, because, because not everyone came to our multimedia kind of what we call that uh, courses there, okay, have the right kind of skills there. I don't know whether you guys have this kind of examination of drawing skills or not, okay, in multimedia kind of uh, what we call that, but normally that exam is, is not basically as hard kind of exam that we actually have at my time there, okay. In my time, if I cannot draw actually have a basic foundation of drawings there okay basic foundation drawing strong foundation of drawings i cannot basically enter the my my art schools there right at the times there i really worried about it right even though i have a good kind of what we call that spm kind of resort okay uh, full credit six credit okay it doesn't mean i can actually right enter art schools there at the time there but nowadays the rule is a bit kind of light a little bit there, okay? Loose a little bit. And if you can draw simple kind of drawing also, you can enter, okay? Right, okay, those are the things that I know. Of course, you can afford to, to study there, okay? That you can do. But right now, guys, what I try to apply over here, okay? To develop your skills back again, your drawing skills over here, all right? I'm using the contour line drawings. Remember, right, the contour line drawing that we produced there before, there, right? But I'm using the line works to work on that some people draw like this one eh, guys very light kind of line there right this is tracings that we call okay just now when you draw the basic structures there okay like uh tripping or right, okay to draw the basic structure there okay those basic structures okay is basically one of the methods for you guys to understand first how to develop that kind of drawings there right okay? but take a look at my kind of basic structure that you think and yours Okay, if I want to draw a different characters, lah. Okay, if I want to draw different characters, there, right? Okay, if I don't want to draw different characters, for example, like this one, that is it. Okay, if I want to draw, okay, basically based on the actual kind of drawing that that you're supposed to draw, there, right? Okay? This is how actually I move my hands over here. This is basically the line there, okay, that produce those kind of structures of those faces. Okay, this is basically what I saw to draw those ears there, okay. The eyes itself, when I want to draw that, okay, based on these basic structures over here. All right, the shape itself, okay. And of course, okay, the line works that you produce over here, okay, the nose itself, okay, the nose, the shapes of the nose there. And when you want to draw them back, this is how actually you're supposed to produce it. The lips itself there, okay? Look carefully to your reference there when you draw them. Right? And you see the whole structure that I try to draw right now there is always, it's almost detailed, but it's not there, okay? 
and I can actually improve more on your the line works over here at the same time there right so to draw the ears there right itself there patterns of the if we do you cannot see that okay but I can actually draw them because the knowledge that I have but if you don't have that okay try to draw the basic structure there first and then you can add new layers to pin and start to get okay, this one basically you can actually right reduce the opacity there right draw on top of the different layers you start to draw the hairline right? you try to draw the basic structures of those hair directly okay? but drawings them basically not tracing them there right? drawing them back again on top of it why actually i show this kind of methods there because i want to help those who actually cannot draw well learn to observe back again in details there and control also the pressures line of strokes to improve your drawing skills see how actually i move my hands over here to draw them back if you just learn to trace it, okay you won't be able to improve your drawing skills like this look at, look carefully to how actually i develop basically those kind of movement for my cursor when i want to draw them see guys so this is also what basically some of your friends just now okay uh when 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 he or she basically want to draw basically those uh shadings there okay but i can saw basically okay from that process that you try to do just now okay your kind of drawings your kind of understanding were not that right yet learn shading is not that hard that guys if you know basically where how to control the shadows and shade there. One of the way that you can learn to control the shadows and shades, for example, here, there, right? Okay. For examples over here. All right. Click to the circles, shapes over here, right? And then use brush tools, uh, your soft brushes tools, soft round brushes tool there. Yeah. All right. And I'm going to adjust the size. For example, I'm going to fill up basically the shadows, uh, the shape basically, right? Okay alternate backspace okay this is basically the base shapes uh, base color for the circles there if i want to make these circles become a little bit more like uh based on the shadows sky direction okay and light and shadows direction there okay the shadows came from uh fall off from this side top side okay right left top side there okay and the highlight came from this part okay the, that mean the shadow the, the highlight came from the source of light came from the bottom right okay bottom right there guys is it correct yes or no bottom right there can you see that okay the bottom right eye shadows there highlight there right bottom right there okay the lighting there here. so what i can do from here i'm going to focus on the shadows part okay i adjust basically the colors there maybe i can adjust basically the flows itself a bit more lighter there okay and then i start to paint according to the form of the circles there Become sphere there, not paint like this one there, okay? Look at how actually I move my hands over here. See? Look at how I, I draw the circle shape there, okay? Shadow shape there. To develop basically the shadow form. Okay, highlight came from the bottom there, right? So basically, this part basically are going to be a little bit more darker there, right? This is how I actually imagine the shapes they set, okay? And control the shadows at the same time. I can add a bit more tone from here, but not colors too, not basically I'm going to shade too much from there. Okay? I leave basically some reflection light on the left side at this part, there, right? So this is how actually you can actually learn to control the shadows and shade at the same times and i try to draw the highlight there okay some highlights over here oops too much there see the results became the right thing this kind of formations of those shadows become a bit more like a three-dimensional kind of looks of those sphere there from from circles into sphere there okay they look three-dimensional there so that's the difference between learn the shadings in the correct way or not there okay without uh 
painting over to those uh, what we call that those uh, figures, characters, or whatever that you want to draw later. Okay, learn to control the pages really well. Step first, right here. See. So, learn the shadings. It's not that hard than learn the strokes. Right? A lot of people right now I know basically. Okay, we try to escape to draw the stroke because it's hard there. Then you try to escape and draw the shadings there first. The shadings can come naturally, guys, once you actually develop the right kind of strokes there. Because why? If you want to design any different kind of characters later on, okay. For example, over here. Okay, I want you guys to draw your imagination characters. Like, okay, your imagination characters there, right? But your imagination were not there. You're going to copy from other people's works a lot all the time. There, right? So try to draw one imagination characters right here using the basic structures, circles there. All right. Construct the line really well here there first. And then what I'm going to do, right? Here, I'm going to turn over these characters becoming different kind of characters over here. Can you imagine the same thing that I try to imagine right now? Anyone can imagine the same? Can you imagine the same there, guys? Try to basically right answer me there. Can you imagine the same there, okay? And still have the right kind of proportions over here. Still have the right kind of proportions there. The proportion that I tried to create right here is still right. Okay, rough, roughly there first, right? So right now, basically, okay, what I can do from here directly, I can draw basically those kind of what we call that. The ears a bit more bigger there. Then I'm going to draw basically those, uh, what we call that, the eyes there. Right? And then the nose basically are going to be a bit more like this part there, right? This one's supposed to be women there, right? But I turn over this, this kind of creatures become a guy that can, or creatures or monsters that can command that can shape you. Yeah. So what I can do from here there, right? Can you, can you take a look this, the result that I create right now? The result that I can create right now there, right? So if you don't have that kind of imaginations yet, try to draw basically based on the actual then improve your drawing skills there first. Okay, from here they basically directly. Okay? I want to improve my line works. So I'm using ultimate pencil tools. Okay. Pencil tools there, right? Uh sorry, the ink tools there, right? Okay. So I start to draw them there, guys. I'm not saying that you cannot, there, guys. Okay, so I draw the hairline. When I draw the hairline, the same thing that I actually use the methods that are techniques. When I to draw basically the actual kind of reference there. But basically, guys, okay. If you don't have that kind of understanding first, okay, I try to draw basically the shapes of these structures there the nose itself the right see the muscles connection that I create from there the right
So all this kind of stuff there, guys, okay, will not came easy there, okay, for me here. I take a long journey to develop that kind of skills there, okay? I'm not saying that you cannot there, okay, but learn one step at a time that guys that to work with it. And I'm not saying this is one of the best design that I actually create, okay? But at the moment, just want to prove you guys, okay, you have to learn fundamentally that first deck okay? before you're going to design or develop some more great kind of stuff in the future, stay right? Learn foundation leader okay, first to develop your skills. So from there, slowly you will develop a lot on your skills later on. Okay, when you actually have ready enough for you to, to move further to your kind of understanding so muscle connections also have a lot of what we call that. You have to take out a lot of understanding there, okay? Because a lot of things, right? If you really want to learn a lot, okay, you must willing to take some challenges to do a lot of assignments right? or practice a lot of exercise, right? right. But I did give you uh, some of the students before you guys, okay? But yeah, I get complained with, those students, yeah, because uh, they say uh, the techniques that I actually produce right now a little bit more advanced. There. They say this kind of technique is a bit more advanced, there, guys. Okay, so mm, I would say there. Okay, this is not basically some. This is basically a little bit kind of advanced. But before you're going to go through with this, there's a few number kind of exercise that you have to produce there to work on that. But not people really, really had that kind of what we call that ability to develop that kind of uh, time that to work with it. Okay? Because there has to be a specific kind of subject that call character design only. Subject, guys, okay? Character design not actually include in our illustrations there. Character design only that you work on that. So from here, right, I can actually write improvise the shapes itself here, yeah? right, draw them there. So if you have that kind of mobility there, okay, to develop those kind of drawings like this, okay, look easy there, okay, but it's not that easy there, guys, okay, trust me on that. Okay, the line works there skills of those line works there, right? Why well, draw, it's supposed to be on draw on top of it, right? My bad, okay. So draw basically those line works a little bit, right? Okay? The, the etching kind of line itself there, right? Okay? Like a comic kind of styles there. So this is basically, okay, it's not freezing there, guys, but I'm using a reference that we have to guide us, right, okay, to help you guys that to work on that, okay, to, to develop the kind of understanding there first. So, because to help students to imagine a little bit more better there, right, okay, rather than you just use pure imagination there. But all this kind of stuff were not going to be work correctly. If we don't look at your reference in the right way. Right? You don't actually study the whole thing, okay? Because some people, when they draw there, okay? I saw basically some people, when they draw there, right? They still actually, right, apply these methods there. They draw there, okay? They doesn't know how to work there, right? See, they draw like this one. They draw like this one there. Suddenly, this character become funny there, right? Okay? Who actually draw like this? Raise your hand. Uh, this one is tracing there. No one want to want to what we call that admit there, right? Okay. Anyone draw like this? When you draw like this one, okay, obviously you trace your drawings. Anyone actually draw like that? Yes? Anyone? 
Anyone actually start to draw like this one? When you start to draw like this, yeah, this is trace there. Okay, no quality of line there. Anyone draw like this? No one to admit there. You as you've been there. All right, guys. Okay, should be in right. Okay, if you seem to draw like that, okay, in your kind of earlier a long time ago, there, right? Okay, yes, thank you. Right, that means now you improve a lot, lah. Should be in right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, there. Okay. So that means, guys. Okay. This is this is also one of the methods I want to help students there. Okay, to look carefully when you draw there. Okay, you have those reference when you draw. You have those reference there, right? Okay use those reference to look carefully all the structures all those details when you want to draw them look carefully there okay don't just simply draw them or, or draw on top of it without thinking how to construct those kind of line that first okay it's really important for you to understand that because if you don't actually write look carefully because i have to use technologies like photoshop layering draw on top of the layers there Okay, to help you guys to, to see the things more clearly there, okay? Because traditionally, okay, we don't have that kind of uh, opportunity to work unless you have the light box, okay? Light box, okay? Like, let me show you guys okay, some of the light box, okay? Uh, this is one of the light box that we have there, okay? Light box for drawings there. this is the one there okay back in the days we used all this kind of light box to draw back again sometimes to trace okay all this element all together to help students to help people to understand a bit more further how to look at things clearly but trust me guys okay i have a few number of my friends also okay use this kind of methods there but when they actually start to draw on top of the light box they still cannot make it right the proportion of those drawings still look weird. They're out of proportions. There, why? Because of the knowledge that you bring over when you draw on top of the layers were not there. You don't actually study carefully your pictures when you want to draw them. Okay, you don't study carefully there, right? A lot of us say, "Oh, you tracing there again?" Okay, no, I didn't trace. I draw on top of it because to want to make sure that I can actually write uh develop it more further understanding from there i don't have to imagine a lot anymore before i'm going to imagine for example if i want to draw any kind of shit of the nose later on there right okay for example if i want to draw the nose there okay without imagining there right okay you draw the shapes of it there first okay circling around there and then i will draw back again the shapes there right from here the nose there, okay some people have this kind of nose there right all right some people have this type of nose there all right this type of nose there right so a lot of st styles that we want to produce right now this is basically based on from what from my imaginations there but my imagination came from the knowledge that i want to create from there the lip itself when i draw the lips there okay from this side there okay from this side there to draw the lips there see the lips there right okay triangle kind of shapes here to draw eyes there one don't draw the eyes start from this one okay bottom right okay start from this side there okay draw the shapes of the eyes there the shapes of the eyes look like a fish okay there fish there right okay from front view the same thing Either you have a small or big eyes, the shapes are going, the, the, the methods of drawing the shapes are going to be the same there. Let's just say you have a small eyes like this there, right? Okay. But basically, this is your pupil and also your iris there, right? See? Is it hard to draw the eyes there, guys? It's not that hard there, guys. If you know the right methods there, I show you guys slowly how it works. Okay? The patterns of to work with it. See? Is it hard to draw the eyes? It's not there, guys. I show you guys how it works. Okay, I saw just now some of your friend draw the, the, the eyebrow like this, right? Okay. You can draw the basic structures there first. 
and how to draw the the eye the hairline okay can you see there again i draw the hairline there right of those eyebrows sometimes i just draw those kind of shapes over like, like this one there right uh, the strokes over there right? okay how i control the shapes here softly when i draw them right all right that's how actually it goes there guys okay this one there i can draw the eye the eyes there all right it's not that hard to draw eyes right but control the pressures really important there that's why i ask you guys i stress you guys control basically those pressure strokes there first you will get to develop the skill in time at the same time okay, when you actually control the strokes really well so. that's why when you draw the stroke okay, let the clean line stroke there okay, how actually develop the clean line strokes okay, i'm using nine point size of these ink brushes there right can you see how actually i draw the clean line strokes over here Yeah, right. The nose trail. You see how I actually draw the nose trail? Slowly there, right? So the lips itself, the mouth first, and then I draw the lips there, right? Same goes to this part. Look carefully to the subject matters. Love when you draw. There. This part basically the only cheekbone and the eyes there right see look carefully there guys when you draw them always look to those reference when you draw and move your hands according to your samples that you have okay this the reference that you have right here slowly move your hands when you draw practice your hands that draw see i didn't push a lot when I draw that. Okay, this basically going to be the ears. I, I believe that. Okay, the shapes of the ears here. The shapes of it, and then start to draw the hairline. This part basically the hair going to be pulled over to the side there. Right? So logically, okay, women have the long hair there. Okay, take a look at your own hair, where the flows, the movements, the structures. The formations or patterns of those hair are going to be moved further there, okay, to work on that. To draw this hair, even though I draw the outline over here, okay, but not draw the not tracing the outline there, draw the outline there, guys, okay? And I'm going to start to manage to work with this kind of flows of the hair at the same time, there, see? See? So I actually I coordinate basically my hands all together with kind of the drawings itself, okay? Practice your drawing strokes there, right? Okay, to work on that. Then later on, when you start to draw your own kind of characters there, right? Okay, you basically had that kind of understanding here. You draw your own characters there, right? Okay, using the stroke itself, okay, sketch the line at first. You want to draw different kind of characters, for example, over here there, right? Okay, the eyes, okay, shapes. There. This part, basically, okay, the eyes. Over here, bit. All right. And then you want to draw what? A man, a boy, or a woman there, different kind of. See how actually I move my strokes, okay, on those hair at the same time, the guys, okay, to work on that. Of course, if you want to draw women, the neck are going to be more smaller, right? Okay, more, okay, on the on the shapes of no, uh, yeah. Otherwise, the the ears, okay, the the neck basically look like a man kind of neck there, okay. So we don't want to do that. So this is how actually you're going to improve that, guys, okay by the help of those reference that we have here.
to develop our skill at the same time that you guys do it. That's how it goes. Okay, that's the reason why actually I give you guys this technique, this method that to help some of you guys will not really, really have a have a good understanding there, okay, to develop the skills okay, from zero there, right, okay, not from 50 to 10 percent kind of methods, okay. When I actually write learn also formally, I have around, I think, around 30 to 40 percent only of skills, maybe there, right, okay. I don't know, okay, whether I have less, more 40 percent, or more than 40 percent. I think around 40 percent only there, okay, not much there, right. So I learn back again from what actually I've shown you guys, okay, some of the important methods like observation, blind drawing, contour line drawings, there, continuous line drawings, and then we move into digital that, but we apply also the same methods that works there, right? All those ton of exercise that I actually learned, okay, help me to develop more understanding. I, I keep on learning there, guys. I'm not stopped there, right, okay? I'm, after those 25, 30 years there, okay, I didn't stop practice myself there. You guys only are six weeks there, okay? Seven weeks of learning there, okay? So suppose there's more for you guys to learn. But we cannot compile all these 30 years of experience or 35 experience into into basically right uh 14 kind of weeks there right all the way because you want to compile everything all 30 years experience of 25 experience in 14 weeks you're not going to draw six drawings for a week okay you're not going to draw six drawings for a week there okay you're going to draw at least maybe 30 to 40 drawings a week or maybe 50 drawings a week yes really there guys are you willing to draw 50 drawing a week some of the intensive exercise anyone willing to do that anyone then eh? no all right see right of course right okay. that's why okay, i have to be more practical to you guys there right be more practical but you have to be patient as well. learn one step at a time there okay but improve your skills there first okay Jian Wei, you, you want to have a 50 drawings there, Jian Wei? No, that's no. too much. Way too much. Hmm? Too other subject. Because, because you look into that particular kind of what we call the drawing as a part of the assignment. Right? If you look into those kind of uh, what we call that. I mean, I enjoy drawing, but then uh, okay, I want to show you guys. Then, I want to show yeah, you guys I did assignments there, right? Yes. I want to show you guys uh, some of my foundations kind of drawing striking that I actually have done before. Okay, this is basically not quite good drawings, I think, right? but at the time I thought it's quite good. Right? But it's actually it's not there, right? Okay, this is some of my foundations drawing for us. And I was like you guys. Yeah. When is it there? Okay. This is around 1995 there, right? See? But this one is basically live drawings that I actually did. Uh, this is also some of my drawings logo there, right? Eh? Right. Uh, what else there? Huh. Some of my exercise that I did using the contour line drawings, right? I draw a tree that based from those exercises that I learned from my classes, okay? Okay, this is something that I actually did draw with live drawings, but using the contour line drawing, see? Some of the buildings, I walked around Kuala Lumpur there, okay? At that time, and I draw anything using my pen, okay? This is some of my exercise there. I actually did a lot of exercise that based on what I did learn from my classes, those contour line drawing, I kind of mixed up all together. Like I saw some couple actually right in the park there, right? And I draw them there. So guys, okay, keep on practicing there, guys, to work to develop your skills. Okay? This is some of this is one I draw one of my crush there before there. Right? Okay, with 
uh, some tree there, okay, on the park that I saw. This is some of my drawings there, okay, my old drawings there. When I was like your age, there, okay, almost like your age there, okay, draw to learn about illustrations, drawings, uh, kind of stuff there, right? But this is some of my contour line drawings that I did. Like I draw buildings, I draw my friend, I think, the right game, who's sitting around the tables there. This is my old drawing thing, my old sketchbooks. Or oh, this is some of my original drawings. It's not basically based on my my ex, my kind of uh, lessons, but I draw on my free time there, right, guys? Okay. So I did draw a lot there, right? Yeah, I did draw a lot there at that time. And of course, there are okay? my free time. So you have you guys have basically your sketch journal there, right? Uh, this is one of my sketch journal that I did, which is I developed basically uh, some some of comics drawings that I draw copy from comics there, right? I draw some of the logos over here. Some of the logos there. This is not from my assignments there. This is my free time there, okay? I want to learn about coloring, okay, at the times, but traditionally, I draw this one, okay, based on comics there. Using watercolors there. Uh, poster color watercolors there, okay? But this one basically copy from comics there, guys. I copy from comics there, guys, yeah? Right, because I I didn't know basically right at the time that copy from comics is not good there, okay, but I need to do something for my for my leisure time of free time, okay. So I would spend basically uh most of my entire midnight after I do those assignments. I did my free uh my my my, my project, my own projects there with my friend. Okay, with my friend there. At the time there. So I did draw all these kind of characters based on comics there, okay? Into my exercise there, okay? For, for my own exercise there, see? For my own exercise there, right? So I did learn also, I tried to learn a bit more on my own, these dotted kind of techniques. I lazy enough to paint the whole thing there, right? And I, I tried to develop my kind of line works at the same time using some inking, right, okay? And I sketch on the papers at the same time there, guys, okay? She works a lot. And I tried to draw myself at the times and my friend using basically those kind of, uh, what we call that, that traditional kind of paint kind of style techniques there. So this is not from my assignments there, guys, but this is from my this is basically from my exercise there, okay? Some of the drawings that I did, right? Charcoal drawings there. The drawing natures there, right? Mm. This is my old drawings that I actually did before I enter art schools there. Bad, right? Bad drawings there. Well, I still keep this one there, right? There because I want to remind myself, okay, where I come from. It's one also there, guys. You know who is it, right? So I love caricature very much. This is basically my drawings before basically I enter art schools there. I, I didn't, I don't know where actually I keep Another drawing is that I have one drawing portrait there, okay, that I actually write uh, used to to show basically for my interview sessions there. But I didn't I didn't know where basically I actually put those kind of drawings there. Okay? I put where there, okay. So this is some of the exercise also that I did okay for comics drawings at the times at the time there. Right? So guys, okay, uh, this is also one of my drawings that I did basically, okay, before I enter our schools there. 
I love to draw some imaginating and stuff, but not that kind of imaginative directing. I don't know directing. This is before I had the art schools there. Ah, the same thing, guys. Okay. So anything is possible. Eh? I, I, the reason why I show you guys all this stuff basically there, right? Because I want you guys to make sure that okay, everything is possible for you to change that. But you have to open up your mind there right, to change. Okay, some of your friends ask me, okay, how actually you're going to uh, get some changes involved, okay? It's all about your mindset. And of course, okay, the sketches that I told you guys, okay, if you want to draw some imaginating kind of stuff and character design, this is one of my earlier kind of sketch based on the character design there, okay, my alien characters there. To draw the pen using without pencils, okay, I developed some of the characters from here. Okay, and I put some of the notes, okay, most of the notes, okay, on my sketchbooks, okay. My study is there basically right here. Okay, this is some of the storyboards that I create before I create those animations, eh? There's some storyboard there right here, these other things. All right, you guys can see basically some involvement of those designs. I actually write, I always, always try to develop different kind of styles there all the time. So I evolve all those kind of drawings there, right? To become a bit more like, more sketchy kind of line there, right? This is basically for my final year kind of works there. I try to create some of the comics, graphic novels there, but let's not make it there, okay? Before I create another graphic novels there, right? So I change my kind of styles most of the time there. So their drawing sometimes will evolve there, okay? It will evolve a lot there, guys, okay? So uh, this is some of the, not recent one there, okay, but some of the cartoon style that I create there, okay, for my sketches there, right? Some doodle kind of line here, see? Some doodle kind of line there, guys. All right? This one purely I'm using basically pen without using any sketches, pencils that it works there. So when you develop those confidence there, guys, you can draw a lot of things there, okay? This is some of the cartoon styles, doodle kind of styles there, that I produced for one of the projects there. Right? So be diversified, be multidisciplined there, okay, at the same time, get to develop your skills over here. So it will be fun and also a little bit more exciting that okay, if you can actually develop a lot of different kind of methods that you will display, guys. Some of the sketches on the characters here, okay, manually some good kind of studies there All right I always keep keep my sketchbooks right okay? until today here okay this is some of the sketches that I did basically right okay? on charcoals all right so practice and 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 develop different kind of methods there guys okay don't stick into one styles only that you works okay guys then you will gain a lot of benefits from your skills there what you learn right now Rocky, you have the opportunity to develop your changes there okay? so when you actually start to develop your understanding this is some of the character design that i create using pencils there some of them i create according to uh, the studies that i made there okay uh, for some of the projects that i did before see okay, some of the robots that i create there right? for the sketches there right so develop your skill according to the right kind of methods to, to develop your skills 
And then I will say the world is yours to like it. To explore. Okay, there's a lot of exciting place for you to explore your world there right it's also some of the drawings using this pencils there okay but i don't erase that right okay i can control it well that's why i want you guys to control the pressures when you draw them directly. and when you have that kind of understanding that can control the pressure really well you can develop a lot of and this is basically from the basic shapes to draw those kind of uh, robot there right? When I show you guys all this kind of stuff here, right here, I felt like I miss basically the old days there. And I also miss the old me there, right? Because at that times I explore and also develop a lot of different kind of stuff there, right? Okay. Uh, to those projects that I did there. Nowadays, a little bit kind of like very, very kind of minimal there, okay? minimal kind of stuff there. Right? So I did a lot of experimental with some techniques, some methods there, right? Sometimes, okay, I just playing around with some colors there, manually, traditionally, that works there, right? He doesn't care about all this kind of stuff that I get too much. Um, okay, seeing right? Some of the drawings there, I get some mechanical kind of stuff there, right? Engines there, I get some tank and the characters itself. And some of the sketches that I did basically, okay? Oh, yeah, capoeira, there, right? So experiments with some the medium there, okay? because if you saw nowadays, okay, when I actually use those kind of photoshops, I kind of combine all these kind of methods, okay, techniques together, okay? That's why I show you guys also the methods here right now. I share you guys also uh, some of the methods that I did basically for my works to develop the kind of drawings here they run okay but the key is right now to control your pressures really well steps before you go to design all this kind of stuff there right okay? i didn't actually write uh pursue myself to draw those uh anime manga all the time there right okay? because for me there okay there's a lot of things that i can explore other than those anime styles there. Because I don't want to become like uh, a common kind of what we call average kind of who, illustrators who produce something that most people actually have done there. Right? So I try to explore a bit more further on my kind of stuff that actually work. That actually will work there, right? So that's why for me, directly, you guys have that kind of opportunity to improve more further from there. I don't know whether I actually have shared with you guys over here. Some of my studies on my sketchbooks over here, there, right? From those Spider-Man there, right? Uh, to another Hellboy there. And of course, there, right, okay. Uh, I discuss a bit more further on my imaginations kind of characters over here. All right. Using uh, charcoals, watercolors, and color pencils there. All right. And you, you guys know what it is, right? Okay, this one. What is this there, guys? From where these characters came from? Yes. All right. Then this is all there, right? So I designed basically okay my own stuff over here. All right. And you guys know where this this case these guys came from. 
Popeye. Right? Popeye, there, right? One of my favorite old time characters there. Some Ninja Turtles there. And I just experiment with my kind of design back again, okay? So I try to design my alter egos kind of elements there, right, okay? And of course, this one came from Star Wars there, right, okay? So I experiment with different kind of methods that to work there, guys, okay? But all this kind of understanding came from our good foundation that I actually try to share with you guys there, right? Strong foundations is all about drawing stuff there, right? And then you can improve further more on your drawing itself, okay? But this one basically is not my drawings. It's my, one of my, my daughter drawing there, okay? When she was around, I think, seven years old there. All right, guys, okay, the key point is right now to improve your skills in your drawings there first, okay? Explore but more further on your worlds there. What we did basically in our assignment and our projects, right, okay? It's only a little thing there, guys. Small things there only there, right, okay? That's basically want to make a, a, a strong changes. It's basically, it's up to you guys that you works. The same goes to these drawings here, right, okay? I draw a different kind of stroke there. I'm going to share you guys this kind of tutorial later, okay, when I actually download that, right, okay? So uh, I want to make sure that you guys can improve more on your strokes before you could add some shadings there shading is not that hard if you have a good kind of way to approach your because your shadings basically are going to be helped to form basically those structures there but the strong element that you put into your illustrations is your drawing step first because not people can draw well they can paint only there okay but the thing is right now, when you want to develop some ideas in the futures, you're not going to be paying first. You're going to draw first those ideas there. That's why you have to improve your drawing skill first before you're going to apply the shadings there. Right. For example, when you want to draw something like as simple as uh, this kind of shape there, right? This kind of shapes can become a character, for example, there, right? Like Mike. So Zaski is there. Okay. For example, like this, but uh, I'm going to make this guy basically have a, let me say, okay. Take a look how actually I draw those kind of line and stroke from here. Let's just say you have this kind of strokes over here, right? Okay. Uh, He's wearing some sort of like a phone over there. I don't know, right? Okay, maybe a phone there, right? Okay. So they have the basically those kind of a uh, hair a bit, right? Okay, from there. Now, basically, uh, he's wearing basically uh, this is basically his body, all right? And this is going to be his. Good. All right. This is going to be his hand. Okay. So now you have these ideas there, right? Okay. So you want to construct these ideas and, and form basically the shadows line from here. So what you can do there, right? Okay. You have that kind of techniques that we have. Okay. Shadow came from this, uh, highlight came from this side, and the shadow is going to be fall off right here. Just the flows a little bit, but you can make a more control on your drawing at the same time. There, right? There. So the the shadow that you form right here is just to give a, a more solid kind of presentations on your design. The eyes itself, you can make a bit more darker over here. Inside mouth there, right? Okay. So they're not going to be affected your line there, you see? Can you see the different without shadows and have shadows there? Right? So they will give you more 
advantage on the presentation is a bit more solid okay, on your design only there in the right kind of shadows kind of line okay shadows kind of uh, direction and shapes there right and but the shadows that the line work that you produce right here okay let you say you want to draw basically those detailing back again there right the costume itself there Move more on the line works over here. There's a shoelace over there, maybe. Right. So can you see the presentations of this on these characters there? Right? Look a little bit more solid. What is this there? I try to go right here, right here. This took the right that I produced right here. And I want to draw the highlights a bit. Okay, to make this presentation and this character look more alive there, right? See? You see the presentation of this design, a simple kind of design that make a more solid kind of approach on your works. Okay. Because of the strong of the stroke there, the strokes very really strong there. And the basic structure that we have. To build up from these subject matters there, right? Okay, when you saw here right now, they show basically some balance there, okay, on this design itself, there, right? Balance there. I had using two head to design these characters to balance them up there, right? Okay, two head to be, to design these characters there. But the point is right now, not only the matters of techniques there, okay, the technical there, okay, but the strokes that you produce. From these drawings, we can apply from this simple kind of presentation of these characters over here. Without the shadows, without the, the shadows, the line is not that quite. They look fine, but it's not basically going to be supporting with the shadows there. But the shadow itself is very simple kind of line there, right? Very simple kind of shadows there. But look strong for your presentation because of the strokes there, right? Because of the line drawings that produce from these presentations there. Right? That's why basically I want to train you guys to improve first on your sketch line drawings techniques before you're going to add some shadows like this one. Shadows is not that hard there, okay? It's the controlling the light and shades at the same times. And of course, to control the pressure using the flows here. That's basically what we try to produce there, right? guys any questions so practice more okay John Wade okay don't be afraid okay of your kind of uh, what we call that your own kind of obstacles there okay so improve more on your line work and drawing at the same times when you produce because only six drawing there guys not 30 50 drawings there a week okay so enjoy more on the process of working there and try to improve more on your skills from here because they will give you a lot of beneficial kind of things there, right? They benefit you guys a bit on that. All right. Any questions? Uh, Any questions? Sir, you want to see my progress. Yeah, I can, right? Please stay right. Okay, let me hold this one there first. Give you a minute, guys, okay? Uh, I actually don't know whether it's, it's considered clear. Or not. If cannot, then I will redraw again.
All right, she'll be in there, right? Uh, Jan, Jan Wei, right? See the nose that when you draw them. Okay, the shadows of the hairs look okay there, okay? For me at the yeah. time there, okay? I didn't want to step too much from there. Uh, the ears have to improve there, right? Okay, the ears, right? Okay? Uh, to, 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 to develop the right kind of positions of the ears there because the ears doesn't look right there, okay? The shadings of those ears also doesn't look right there. Uh, uh, generally yeah, try to get nice. the, the the clean kind of line that first there to improve all right don't mix up those kind of line and stroke first there should be uh generally don't mix up those line work first yeah. right, okay try to use one uh one style first to improve your kind of line works and then another pictures you can actually experiment with different kind of styles there. okay don't mix up because later on you might going to be get confused a bit there, right? Normally we can get confused, okay, with, with our own kind of creations there, because we never know basically which part we should be focusing the right way there. Okay? And of course, there, okay, when you try to draw those muscle connection there, okay, can you see there, okay, a bit kind of weird there, okay, from here, right? Right here. Because of the stroke there may be there, okay. Uh, why don't you actually try to remain, remain basically the proportions, remain also the uh, to study is basically based from uh, the actual kind of uh, reference and then you improve it more further on your kind of imaginations there all right i would say that basically we start with the drawing a real human back again and then when you get the basic structures right then you actually can improvise and try to do some imaginations kind of drawing from there that's basically my suggestion, yeah, there, okay, but, uh, Genway. Because otherwise, yeah, then, you don't um, complete yeah. the drawings there. You keep on, you, you keep on basically, right, uh, try to experiment some of the things that you might not going to be ready enough here, right? Because you have to remember one thing there, okay? You have the responsibility to improve your drawing skills there, first of all. Second thing is, right, you have to complete those drawings there before you can add some shadings on your shadows at the same time okay and then from using the shadings and shadows there okay you need to learn also how to control the pressures there okay those are three responsibility in one drawings there and then you have to make sure that the shadows the shadows and shades and the strokes are going to be uh formed in the according on the light and direction of the shadow at the same time there all right to get the right kind of uh, shadows they won't be able to see some like a weird kind of muscle kind of formations okay on your drawings if you want. so there's a, a lot of responsibility on one single drawing there so so try to to minimize back again your efforts to imagine them in general try to minimize yes, your efforts to imagine that first focus uh, focus basically on the reference here okay then you try you can imagine a bit more further when you get the right kind of structure yes Jenwin? you understand what i mean uh, yes yes I understand. um muscle about the hand right the muscles actually i did not imagine or anything i follow Ooh. how the body shape is like i use my stroke it's a stroke like how you ask to draw look carefully but back again okay shape. look look carefully back again there right that looks like that. Mm. All right, if you yeah, saw basically, if you want to take a look, okay, because your your kind of drawings doesn't have the quality of line there. Uh, Genway, your drawings, right, okay, that you yes. that you try to draw just not, okay, it doesn't have any quality of line there, right? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yes. Hmm. That's why they make a bit kind of weird kind of stuff from there, right? Okay? Because yeah. when you so move your hands from the there, there, okay, you didn't have any quality of line there, okay? And of course, okay, from what you draw right now, okay, Janwe, it look like you're tracing, not drawing there. Because you draw the outline there, right? Most of the time there, right? See? You draw the outline, uh, you try to trace the outline there, you know, you draw the whole thing there. Yes, Minghao? Uh, sir. Yeah. 
Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, 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 <laughs> oh, um, I already sent my what word. What is it? Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, there, right. Clarissa, there, right. Yes. Sorry, sorry. Yes, Clarissa. <laughs> So can you please check it? my word in WhatsApp? Yeah. My word yeah, in can WhatsApp. I, in WhatsApp, Sorry, direct for you. Yeah, you're right here, they're right. Yeah, yeah. In the group, right? Wait up. Okay, Jan Wei, wait, uh, wait up, Jan Wei. Right? I'm going to show you actually how it works there. Okay, this one there, right? Can you see Clarissa? Okay, the proportions, the hands looks a bit more smaller, right here. You can draw that Clarissa, okay, but the problem is the proportions there. Okay, the proportion itself there, right? Okay. Basically, you have the stroke that you can draw that okay, from here, but the proportion is when you draw those uh, eyes, the nose there. She actually look at down, okay. You try to draw look at down, okay, rather than look up there. Okay, okay the proportions there when you draw those. How actually I'm going to show here right now, right? So let me share my screen. Okay, let me open up this one at first. Comparing to what you saw from here, that like Clarissa, there, right? Take a look, everyone. Okay, the proportions of this one. When you draw that, okay, first, you draw basically the structures here. Can you close the mic there, right? Okay, who actually open up the mic there? Mm -hmm. Who opened up your mic there, right? So basically, when you draw that Clarissa, okay, from here, did you draw the basic structures there first? You try to draw your own characters or from yeah. the reference there? Direct from the reference. Uh, from the reference. Your own character, is it? Yeah. Or you want to draw from the reference, right? Okay, check, look back again, then. The structures of the nose there, from here, right? They're going to be look a bit more like this one there, right? Okay. Look carefully there, okay? The nose are going to be put aside over here. The lips itself are going to be right here a little bit there, right? The lips here. Okay. Look back again, the proportions, okay? The, the eyes basically came from this side and she's looking to this side there right maybe it's not accurate okay but i try to accurate based on your drawings over here this one she's looking basically to this side there right the side there okay the eyebrows were here And basically, this is a nose there. So check, look back again. Okay, Clarissa, okay? Those kind of drawings that, that you try to draw here, okay? And when you draw the hairline, you using pencil, okay? Try to move your hands like this. Control a bit more. Try to sharpen your pencil at the same time there, right? Okay? Pencil your, uh, what you call that? Uh, Control your pencils there, okay? Uh, sharpen your pencil at the same time there, okay? Basically, there's a hairline over here. The hair kind of shape that cover those part there, okay? That's how it goes. And if you check it closely, okay, the shoulders will be kind of like on this side, okay? okay? This is the line of actions. In this part, basically, okay, when you draw, draw the circles that, uh, draw the cylinders that apply from the hand. From the arm itself, the shoulders, right? The shoulders. And so this part is going to be the shoulders and also the arm itself, there, right? And the hands. Check, look closely, the clips are from there, all right? And then you can redraw back again the whole thing there, okay? The hair also to, I think, to what we call that, the, the shapes of this. It's what we call that the head are a little bit more like this one, okay? Like ovals there, not square like this one, okay? It's basically the neck from this part there, right? So check look back again the proportional deck, okay? Two okay? works on that. Okay? So 
you still doesn't have those tablets yeah i'm still waiting for it okay if you didn't have those tablets okay try to draw a more simple kind of what we got as reference that we have like this one right do it more direct when you draw them okay draw the structures back again okay this one basically i draw on top of it there right so what you can do here right draw the basic structures of these faces here okay from this side okay align first okay half of it basically right the eyes basically a half of those head okay half of the head there right okay and try to draw basically those nose structures that it based for triangle there again okay? and improve on the line and strokes there at the same time here there right? see these are going to be the lips it she says has a tip over there and draw those lower lips right basically the lower lips a little bit more shorter there okay then the cheekbone there right and the chin and the cheekbone there right okay from there this is how it looks see i draw side by side there okay okay this alignment basically guys will came from those eyes that okay? will be, be, be close to the eyes there look carefully when you draw them right okay? always always look carefully when you draw them All right that's how it goes there right okay so take a look closely to your reference when you draw them so especially when you draw using those reference there okay you have the kind of strokes but the understanding and the proportion has to be a pretty bit more for the later on you don't worry there right okay so Hopefully, when you have that kind of privilege to use those uh, reference uh, with this, what we call that, using basically digital, I get to help it more further on understanding on controlling the stroke at the same time and the proportion there. Okay, uh, like for example, like it's now all right here. Okay. like your friend is now right okay like Jan Wei here okay one of the reasons Jan Wei that you make some of the uh, mistakes there okay when you draw that right you start with this line that first see okay The outline there okay i didn't draw like this there right this is how actually i draw if i want to draw on the layers there see i draw the quality of line there right here but i try to mix up of those kinds of line together there i didn't trace them but i draw on top of it there right? i'm using my drawings strokes there to work with this kind of drawings here see generally try not to experiment with your thought there but try to experiment with the with the method that i show you right now there okay to see to, to develop those kind of things. i try to draw the shadows line over here but the directions of my shadows are my kind of etchings according to the same kind of directions that i can treat from this form itself there right you see the difference between what I do right now and yours? You see the muscles there? Doesn't it look weird there, right? Yeah. Mm. Same goes to this part there, right? Okay, when you draw because them. The pressure I apply this now on the lines is yeah. not that. See the right the way that I draw right now there, right? I draw yeah. the nose itself. And then the lips. There's going to be those uh the quality of line that I produce, okay, the ears there, okay, the shapes of the ears are going to be like this there, okay, before I'm going to improve more on the shadows and and design different kind of styles there, okay, or different kind of characters there, okay, I try to make sure that I can actually get the right kind of understanding on the, 
on the actual proportions there first. Okay, we do before I'm going to imagine them there. This is what I do there first, okay? So draw the draw the stroke first, okay, for the hair, for the head there, right? Before I'm going to add some shadings there, right? And of course, okay, from here we can see basically this is basically the hair kind of strokes there. Patterns that they form the shapes of it. And the line has to be consistent there, right? Okay, John Wei. We make sure the line is a bit more consistent, right? In every single stroke. Otherwise, it look weird again. Okay? And, and you try to accept experiment one kind of what we call that multiple kind of styles, okay, in one single drawings. But you're not actually improve more on your strokes over here, there, okay? With your drawing styles there at the moment. You try to mix it up all together you're not going to find any good result from there. See, I'm using the same kind of strokes for every single kind of movement and the quality of line that I produce from here also will affect basically my drawings here. Okay. Quality of line there, right? Okay. And mixed up with I don't mix up with different styles that I mixed up with different kind of quality of line only. Some of the areas I go thickness a little bit and move further on the strokes and basically the whole things have the confidence line that I can produce from here. Okay, this one basically the etching kind of line according to the shadows that I saw. Okay, that I produced the writing. Okay? According for the shadows that I saw from here. So if I want to add a bit kind of detail, uh, what different kind of methods of applying the, uh, the ears there, I think, what I can do, I don't actually try to make up there, I think, I'm using the shapes of it. Okay. Not exaggerate too much until you lose the proportions there. They look a bit more weird, but not logic there, I think. See? From there. So this one I can actually write add a little bit kind of like 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 uh, feet over here I can like gargoyle kind of feet. If I want to make a, a bit kind of changes from here, I can basically right make the jaw a bit kind of like, but not too much there right. So because if you want to create your own characters right, if you don't have enough kind of understanding there, it's hard for you to develop from here. You start to use your imaginations is our limitations there. There's a limitation in our imaginations there. Right? So what I can do okay, from here, maybe I can actually write, design different kind of eyes there, right? okay? You see, to make it more fierce and evil there. Right? The nose itself, if I want to reimagine there, right, okay, based on my understanding there, right? See, I'm going to draw some pointed nose, but still look logic uh, for these characters. Okay. Right? I don't actually do obvious major changes, but small changes that I make make a lot of difference for my design there, right? So imagination has done us, there has to be huge uh, changes there. Well, small changes from your understanding, you can develop a, more, a lot of good kind of ideas from there. The hair basically, okay, if I don't want to make it this kind of hair, I can uh, work with a uh, very like a, like a punk rock kind of what we call that hairline and stroke there, right? But the thing that I try to do right now, right, okay, I try to apply the same kind of understanding when I draw the hair. See? I try to use different, uh, the same kind of ideas there to draw those hair, right? Okay, this one basically I erase first, right? So I want to make it uh, 
the, the what we call that changes a bit there right now. But still look logic, lah, guys. It doesn't look weird there, okay? Because I'm using basically the same kind of flows and proportions that I that I'm supposed to develop from this illustration, from these drawings there, see? And I design basically those hairlines that according to those methods that I actually have show you guys before there. From the shadows, line and shapes, draw those hair like it look really more softer, like right? they're supposed to look more softer there. Right? From there. It can be there, okay? So they become someone else there, okay? This guy there, okay? I'm going to draw a bit kind of like like horn over here. Draw the circles. And the ship, right? They become a Satan there. Right? It can be, see? Yeah. So small changes that you made they give a lot of difference there right it doesn't have to be too bizarre there right okay yeah it help you guys to engage more understanding from here okay when when you use your reference according to your needs there okay not just try to uh, what we call that just simply draw them without having a lot of understanding and knowledge at the same time there right so sl slowly draw and understand the anatomies at the same time using the reference right, guys you study based on your reference back again and i will try to uh render basically the shadows line from here okay it's just the shadows a bit right here. slowly there right okay draw the shadows there right so later on if i want to add some shadings okay it's not that hard anymore right okay because i already covered basically using the stroke itself there, right okay so study cover okay focus more on your studies there right okay don't mix them around right okay you can experiment but make sure your experiments works there okay if your experiment doesn't work, don't just simply work on that and doesn't compare. Okay? Try to compare with, with some of the demonstration that I did right now, right? Okay? And compare from what you actually find out there, okay? Your experiment, did this work or not? If not, follow back again what I show, what I suggest at first. Because what I suggest basically is a professional kind of way of working there, right? Okay? You want to use professional way of working or you want to use other thing that you find you thought basically right but it's not there right it doesn't give a very good result from there so you decide that basically that you okay let's just say i'm using the brown colors there again okay? uh, then i just still want to use these brown colors there as a part of my <clears throat> kind of uh, medium there all right to color them up right okay, let me see it over here i have to save the files that first thing right? Oops, sorry there. True. So shadowing there, right? Okay. Normally the guys uh yes, of course, like you guys, okay. You guys doesn't want to work uh do a lot of exercise there, right? But you still want to experiment a lot of things there, right? Okay. That means you have the energy uh more than 46 year olds like me there, right? Okay. So that means you can do more directly from there. So if I want to add some shadows and lighting there, okay? So I want to make some, uh, what we call that reference over here. Okay, let me put it my reference over here. Okay, first, I'm going to add some shadings there, okay? According to the shadows there first. So, sorry, there, right? Not this one, okay, this one, okay? So I want to shade itself there, okay? It's just the flows, okay? Around 10% there, right, okay? So I'm going to paint the shadows over here. Um, uh, what we call that uh, circling shadings there just like 
what you did just now, right? Okay? Zheng Wei, Zheng Wei, right? So I'll add some shadows over here a bit. But not too much that you don't render too much that first because every single part of those uh core shadow that we try to develop they always have uh, the, 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 what we call that the reflection slide they need to run there what i need basically okay some of the areas of the shadings over here directly okay? it's not when you do that okay, you actually put a dark kind of shadings over there there's no kind of form that we saw from your kind of shadings there. So I look a bit more kind of weird a bit there, right? So right now, I add some shadings over here a bit. Just a bit more further on those, what we call that shadows over there. Right here. Try to add a bit kind of shadows there first. See how actually I move my hands when I draw those shadows there, according to those structures of those hands there, right? Adjust the size at the same time, right? I always adjust the size again all the time there. This part basically, right? I, Can adjust a bit on the tone, a bit more darker here, a bit more reddish there, right? This part has the shadows line over here, okay? A bit shadows kind of shapes a bit on there. I didn't actually render too much on the header, okay? So to show you guys basically how actually the shadows can be worked from here. Those are these pictures that you can get, okay? The shadows and basically based from those reference. All right, guys? It's not all about tracings there, but if you want to play with your imaginations, try to make some logic at the same time, there, okay? To work with it. So, but what are the powerful things that you saw from here? Not because of the shadings there only. Shading is one of the elements that you actually use, okay, to cover uh, basically to to build up basically the form of this subject matters there, right? Oh, I came right here. So basically, without the shadows, the line work still looks strong, but without the line work and strokes. The shading becomes simple there, right? It doesn't actually have the, the, the effective kind of way there, actually, we can saw from the shadings over here without the strokes there, right? So, it is only to support the form of your illustration there. But the whole things basically came from your drawing strokes. That's basically the things that we want to develop okay, for this week there okay still start with the strokes there okay so you need to develop from there if you say that you practice only once a week it's not enough if you have six drawings there okay that you produce there okay try to make full use of solid of these six drawings there otherwise train yourself more directly from here All right my suggestions Enjoy yourself to do sexy drawings on yourself there, okay? Before you're going to get it right. That's basically the things there. The more that you actually develop those practice to develop your strokes, everything going to be all right. I also doesn't know how to colors there, okay? In my time, at your time, okay? My, your age there. Right? So I train myself back again, but practicing more and more to get a progress kind of looks there, okay? To, to get a progression, a good progress there, right? It's not all about to draw because right now you guys don't have to. I, I don't know maybe maybe because of 
other subject that you have the writing other subject that you have maybe you're going to learn to develop them using uh, basically um, traditional method that okay? it works there All right almost right there okay who is it uh we ping the areas there right we ping okay? almost right okay good good try that okay to develop the kind of strokes there okay try to develop more further later on there, okay look okay there, okay but look carefully while you draw them so, okay this one is on Nisha there, okay? Try to improve more on your line work there, on Nisha. It has to be improved a lot there, right, okay? One of the best way for you to practice these tools, draw the contour line dropping back in the Onisha, right? Guys, for those, for those who still have a lot of difficulty to control your pressure line, okay? Pressure line here, all right? Okay, one of the good way for you to practice there, right? One of the good way to practice it, guys, don't jeopardize or don't, uh, what we call that, uh, what we call that, uh, take for granted this exercise there, guys, okay? If you use this kind of brush line there, right here, brush line over here, <coughs> uh, using nine point or 10 point, right, okay? Okay, everyone, right, okay? Even though, uh, what well, should be in there, right, okay? Uh, Jian Wei is already there, right, okay? Jan Wei there, right? If you really want to improve your drawing skills, okay, using the tools, okay. Can you take a look here, right? Okay? Where is it? Okay. I'm using this kind of contour line drawings over here. Okay. Contour line drawings there, right? To improve my skills, using the tools there, right, okay? Uh, Clarissa, if you have this kind of what we call that, if you get those kind of tablet later on, okay, this one is wrong a little bit, right, okay? It's okay. I want to show you guys basically those training that you can do you on yourself there, right? You don't have basically to draw like what I did basically, right, okay, previously on my kind of exercise, okay, draw, traditionally, okay? But you can use your tablet right here to improve your drawing skill by using the drawing mapping kind of methods there, okay? And at the same time, so what I did basically right now, I to try to study the whole structures back again and control my pressure at the same time there, right? You see that, right? This is basically one of the good exercise if you want to improve your strokes, but you have to do a lot there, okay? Until you find the, 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 the momentum there. You find the, the goal there, okay, or the sound of drawings over here. Or the, the stroke itself, like you see? The quality of line there, right, that I produce. If you want to use this kind of quality of line, all right, this quality of line there, okay, for your illustration there, okay, you guys can do there, okay. Still can work there, right? But make sure that you improve more on this uh, line drawing line. Okay. Look carefully to your subject matters when you draw. It's, it's not actually just trace them, you know. It's not actually a trace them only there. Right? We try to gather all informations there visually when you want to draw them. It's not actually just trace them, right? Okay? Even though I actually draw them quite fast, it doesn't mean that you should draw as fast as you saw right now. There, right? So study a little bit more further on the healing there, right? Eh? In order to develop your understanding how to use the tool. Right? Okay. I think that's basically one of the tips that I can give you guys to improve your skills if you're using the tablet again. Okay? And of course, if you want to use those traditional medias like Arisa, okay, sketchbooks, you can still practice your kind of line works using the same methods there. Using pen, pencil, but sharpen your pencil at the same time that you work, okay? Because the, the, the ideas that you try to control the pressures here is the same. It's almost the same there, okay? Because you're going to bring back your skills of your drawings methods using the traditional media into those Digitals there, right? Okay? They're not going to be helpful for you if you don't improve your drawing skills there. Tablet is only a technology of tools there. 
but without the pressure point, it's, it's, it's useless basically for us. Okay, all right, yeah, Genuine. You have anything there to ask me? No? Yes, Genuine, what is it? Oh, send it right. I redraw. Yeah, I redraw. Ah, looks okay. It's more better, right? Okay, but carefully with the with the strokes over here for the body part, right? Okay? Strokes over here. But look more better. Yeah. Right? Okay. Ah, look okay. more better there. Okay, the line works over there. Practice more, huh? Generally. Are the faces? Yes. Right. Be careful a bit, okay? The faces there. Right. Okay. Try to make the line works a bit more solid a bit. But still control the strokes at the same time, right? Okay, anyway. And the ears also, yes. the patterns of the ears when you draw, right? Okay, try to improve more on the quality of line, right? Okay, and the patterns of those shapes there, right? Okay. Look carefully how actually I draw them back again to my demonstrations there. Because this one looks okay. a bit more like the, the proportion, right? Okay, like the proportion is wrong already, right? Okay, it's look more like a top of it, right? Okay, rather than the three quarters. Right? Yes. Right. I have to show basically yes. my ears that I can show you guys again the patterns of the stroke there. Look carefully, okay, on the patterns there, okay. You can erase basically the inside line that you draw on top of it. The inside line yeah. that's on top of it, right? Okay? Second line there, okay, that you produce that second line there, okay. You can erase them first and then you redraw them back again. Don't draw all these things combined all together, right? Okay? The inside kind of patterns doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be right. Okay, look carefully back again. Okay? Doesn't have to be combined all together there, right? Okay. When you look at my kind of drawings back again, I didn't combine those lines there, right? okay, all together. There. Only this part basic outside is like I draw them right. This one I leave a little bit kind of space there. Look carefully there, okay? Wrong with it, wrong with it. Look carefully the patterns that I saw <laughs> on my ear group. All right. All right. Look carefully back again how I actually draw those ears there, right? Okay, anyway. But I think the strokes would more improve, la, right? More improved there, right? Okay. okay, take a look here, January. Anyway. When I draw those ears there, right? Okay. Which part basically I focus there? Which part basically I lose a little bit of those line? Okay. All right, this one basically a control line like it's like hard to see the right thing. But if you even if you want to take a look back again, the right thing, how I can draw this? Okay, let me say right here. Take a look here. And let's just say I start with this part there, right? Outline, okay. They're, they're, they're out, they're, they're out, out there, right here. And then I'm going to draw this one. You have to improvise a little bit the shapes. There. See? You see that, Genuine? Yes. There. Yes, mm. Okay? All right. Start to work on that. Okay, look carefully. And if you can wash basically some of the reference samples there, okay? And of course, okay, draw is that you look more, those are more kind of understanding there, right? They do also do that. There's a lot of way to draw those ears there, right? But you can actually simplify them if you understand the pattern itself there, right? Okay? Mm. See, a lot of way there, okay, anyway, works on that. So try to apply it. Okay. Same goes to you guys, okay, the same guy, the same thing, okay? Try to look carefully how it actually works, but don't just trace them. We draw and improvise the line shape system. Okay? Simplify that. Okay, guys. So it's almost five o'clock there. All right. I'm enjoying the process of uh, what we call that. Some of the lines have to be improved on the body part, right? Okay? Some shadings there, right? Okay? Improve more further, right? Okay, January, practice a bit more, right? Okay? 
I think you have to put more focus on the drawing strokes that you're at, at this time, already, and then you apply the shade instead. After you get the strokes right, okay, what what you can do from here, okay? So most of you guys who actually have this kind of problems there, try to draw every single drawing first. Complete all the single drawing steps, okay, in each, uh, what we call that, uh, reference there. And then when you satisfy with it, and then put some shading there. Put some shading there. I think the line works a bit more improved, lah, but need to improve more further, there, okay, on the drawing stroke at the same time, okay, generally. Okay? All right? All right, okay? Be patient and practice more. All right? Okay, so if you don't have any questions, okay, or you, if you have any questions, please basically, uh, what we call that, uh, message me on WhatsApp there, right, okay? On WhatsApp there, right, okay? Please there, right. So uh, I want to share, see you, see how I see your progression from there, all right? See your more your progression from there, there right? Okay? So good luck with your kind of your kind of uh, projects one. All right, I will upload as soon as possible that I can actually upload back again those kind of videos there, right? And be patient, there, guys. Okay, your journey is very very long, there, right? Okay, but you need to be more passionate, okay, to develop your skill at the same time, there, right? Okay, all right. So thank you very much, guys, for this evening. Good luck. Tomorrow, basically, a holiday, right? Huh? But we don't have the class, right? But practice yourself a bit more further. Enjoy yourself there, guys. Enjoy yourself there more, right? Develop those skills there, right? right? So then we can learn more further and further on those tactics at the same time. Okay? Thank you very much. Have a nice day. And good luck also. And I see you guys on the next session. Bye-bye.